John, the Iranian foreign minister keep repeating, saying that the administration is sending messages that they want to re-engage in the nuclear talks. Is this true? And do you think the time is suitable to re-engage? And second, when Karine said that the administration message to the Iranian regime is don't kill their own people and don't send weapons to the Russians, do you think this message will resonate with the Iranian regime? Well, on your first question, no. Uh, we are not uh, seeking or asking for uh, 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 a new set of negotiations or renegotiation discussions on the JCPOA. That's not what our focus on uh, is on right now. It's on holding Iran accountable, as Karine mentioned in the opening statement, for the way they're treating innocent protesters in their country. That's our focus right now, not on getting back into the JCPOA. And frankly, the, we are just too far apart right now to be able to have any meaningful discussions in that regard. Um, and on your second question, I mean, uh, it, it, uh, it never ceases to amaze me what doesn't seem to be able to soak in uh, in terms of uh, message delivery to Iranian leaders. We've been very clear um, about uh, our concerns over what they're doing to their own people. We've been very clear about what they're doing to enable the Russians to kill Ukrainians and to damage Ukrainian infrastructure. They're now on the ground in Crimea, assisting in that effort. Uh, the transfer of these drones absolutely is a violation of UN Security Council Resolution 2231, which prohibits the transfer of missile-related goods, equipment, and technologies to or from Iran. So uh, I, I can't I don't think we can be any more clear about our concern about what they're doing. Uh, and we're going to continue to work with, uh, with allies and partners and with the UN to, to see if there's uh, additional ways to hold them accountable. Kareen mentioned just with respect to uh, the, the treatment of protesters, another 14 now sanctions in place just today. And we're going to continue to stay at it.